So this is it. This is like, this is the matchup in my mind. I love, like, Protoss is a nice, elegant, and clean game, and they have a lot of balanced fights versus races. Terran and Zerg have got this real animosity against each other, because Zerg, to beat Terran, has to, like, lose everything. Like, Zerg has to just take a billion casualties to beat Terran. Terran, on the other hand, has all sorts of sneaky varieties that they can do. And uh, I would love to see Red Alert unhesitatingly do the exact same build order again. I would love it. He has no reason to change his strategy in this game. If he goes five racks, uh, Reaper Rush, I'd love it. So I'd like to take this time. We have uh, record viewership and counting, 186 viewers at the moment for our, our weekly SC Reddit. So I'd like to take this time to give a big shout out to our uh, gracious hosts, uh, Steve Z and Fear Gorm, who are the two mods at the uh, StarCraft subreddit at reddit.com who organize all this stuff and get it going. So those guys absolutely rock. They do a wonderful job kind of manipulating people in the backgrounds and getting the players in the right spots at the right times, as well as monitoring our uh, monitoring our voice chat and our IRC chat and all that sort of stuff. So if you see those guys, give them a shout-out because they're awesome. They're definitely in chat right now. So, uh, yeah, big shout-out to them, big shout-out to Reddit, big shout-out to TeamLiquid.net. So good games going here and uh, all of that. Big shout-out to Day9, too, since I keep referencing him because he rocks. So here we go. We got Chompy in the 12 o'clock position, and we have got Red Alert here at the 2 o'clock position as the orange turn. Chompy, the pink Zerg. I think I think Zerg goes pretty well in pink, honestly, myself. Um, nice and strong economy so far. He's at 14. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised to see... Ooh, look at that. I would be surprised to even see him go for a 15 hatch. I was going to say I wanted to see a 15 gas, 14 uh, pool, but uh, he's going for a 15 hatch or 14 hatch. Look at that, Chompy. Risky, but we'll see. Very risky, especially if, if like I said, uh, Red Alert is going to unhesitatingly go straight into a Reaper build again. But we'll have to see. Um, and that's that. Hey, here it is. I'm going to get my elixir of choice out here right now. This is the Cherry Coke Zero with Key Lime Juice Mix. Best uh, drink ever, by the way. Red Alert's getting the single Marine out right now, which is great because check it out, we've got, I can already see the Overlord Shadow, he's going to have to get the hell out of there. Uh, single Marine, good opening. Chompy, finally getting the gas and the pool up as well. Let's see how well he can defend against this, because of course, if we have any sort of aggressive Reaper build, uh, he really has to worry about having that expansion die instantly, so we'll see what's going to happen with that there. we got the Overlord going down. Now, one, th one nice thing to note that you almost never see, oh, he just misses it. Is he going to send him all the way out? Come on, go get him. You can do it. Oh, look at that. Those guys are going to go get a kill. Um, one nice thing that you almost never see with good players, and Chompy is a good player, you'll notice that with all of those uh, Reapers bouncing in and out like there, he never got a single spine crawler. It's very tempting. Uh, spine crawlers are great if you think your opponent's just kind of scouting you with one or two, but versus that quantity of Reapers, you never want Spine Crawlers. They can just one-shot them. You've got a pack of five or six of them floating around. They can just take out Spine Crawlers like nobody's business. So the correct move is exactly what Chompy is doing, is get Roaches. Always get Roaches versus Reapers. So let's see here. And of course, while I'm jibba-jabbing, I'm not even listening to the fact that there is a factory going up. So obviously, all of my talk about Reapers not going to happen, because look, we've got a reactor going up, we've got a factory, uh, his timing is perfect, we're going to get the uh, old swap onto the reactor, and we're going to see a whole bunch of annoying Hellions. Uh, the double Hellion opening, like the big fat Hellion Marauder Marine Army, uh, wonderful. Like, I haven't seen that for a little while. I've been kind of, myself, I've been focusing on the, uh, the Reaper strategies that have been coming out nowadays, but uh, I think... When was the last time I saw some the, the, some of the best early Hellion gameplay that I saw, like Hellion and Marine stuff, is... Uh, uh, the little one from Team Liquid. Like, he had some phenomenal early game, nothing but nonstop Henley and Harass games. And so uh, I, I just love the way he does that. So let's see where that's going to go from here. Non-upgraded Zerglings. Production tab. There it is. Metal Block is coming right along. Roach Warren coming up. And boom! There we have it, the clash between the Hellions and the non-upgraded Zerglings. And they're going to pay for that all the way home. I'm just going to take a look and see how these guys are doing, getting roasted alive as predicted. Now, the exact opposite of what I just said. I had just finished saying you never want to get spine crawlers versus Reapers. Yes, you always want to get spine crawlers versus Hellions. Hellions hate spine crawlers. Spine crawlers are fantastic versus them. So are Queens, so are, you know, Zerglings kind of, but we'll see. So, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you just joining in right now, as we have viewers spiking all over the place, I'm Harlequin, and you are watching the round, the best of four between Chompy, 
and Red Alert, and Red Alert is just doing horrific damage to the worker line right now. He's rushing in here with his Hellions. He's got a early, early Hellion reactor and is just cooking alive uh, all of our little probes, dronies, peasants, SCVs, whatever they are, they're getting cooked alive. We got the Queen, we got the Roaches. Finally, he's taken care of it, but that's the kind of thing. Remember, I was referencing a you know a bunch of TLO plays that very frequently will do this kind of stuff. Always are this effective as well. And that that spine crawler was just a little bit late. So now we'll see where he's going. He's still getting the Hellions. He's getting Marauders, and he's probably going to get yeah. He's getting a single uh, medevac. Um, what I really want to see. Let's see where this is queued up here. What I really want to see. He's queued up there and there. Is uh, medevac uh, double Hellion drop. That's fantastic. That's such a good move against Zerg, because Zerg is going to be here thinking, okay, now i got to get ready for the next wave of uh, Hellions to come flying in here. And then, bam, out of nowhere, we're going to get a bunch of Hellions in his face, and he's just going to GG, right?